What up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with more One Piece. Today we're doing episodes 357, 360. Super excited to be continuing Thriller Bark. Remember, if you guys want early access on the Patreon, up to 16 episodes or the full uncut versions, everything is on the Patreon. Links down below, like always. We are live on Twitch watching all these reactions, so come on over and leave a follow, hang out. It's always a vibe. Twitch.tv slash Dapper Darius. Check out all the other social medias, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all the Dapper Darius. I appreciate you guys immensely. I'm not going to waste any more time. One Piece, episode 357. Let's do it. All right, here we go. This is 357. I'm back in Perona's, what's it called? Perona's Room of Wonders, Perona's Garden, something like that. So she has the hollow, hollow fruit. Moria has the shadow, shadow fruit. I wonder if Absalom has a devil fruit. That's why he goes invisible and stuff. Brooke had the revive, revive fruit. All right, is he going to be able to four times the negativity? I wonder if he's going to be able to take this. All four of them. My boy is still standing. Looks like it hurt or drained him a little bit. I mean, all that negativity in your heart, you know. He made the ghost depress. My oh, man, Usopp is negative. Even Perona. He's literally hitting the Uno reverse card on her ass. All right, Mr. Unbeatable. You guys ever played the PS4 Spider-Man game? How Mr. Negative's in there? He's in the new one too, but... That's literally Usopp. Okay, shimmy shimmy. See? Beautiful shots. They're covering their mouth. They're smart. <laughs> it is against the rules. I've never seen him so determined. Will-O-Wisp of Love. Man's got the fire-empowered passion of love and joy. That is hilarious. Ooh, this is one of my favorite songs they play. Back to uh, Ryuma and Brooke. He is a master swordsman from Wano. Can't get over how cool his sword looks, though. And I'm not going to lie. This is just a theory. Zoro's in need of a new sword. Imagine we beat him and take his sword. Oh, my man's got a huge crack through that eye where he was... You were like a phoenix. Reincarnates. Or maybe a zombie who comes back from the dead. Should be out of strength, but you just keep coming back. I like how neither of them technically have a heart because one's a zombie. I mean, he has not a working heart, and <laughs> Brooks a skeleton, but we can hear the heartbeat just for the tension in the scene. Three pace, um, notch. That's a typical anime swordsman thing. You walk past. Your attack already happened in that split second. As you sheath the sword back. Not fair. We didn't have a sheath for our sword in the other room. His, his, his soul looking back for his corpse. Oh, it wasn't. I like that thought of him thinking back on his crew when they were still there. 50 years by yourself like that. Just, mm, what a lonesome life it's been. Oh, 
Nah. No siree. I need Zoro and Frankie to pull up right now. Ors? I like how Ors was supposed to be the biggest threat to our squad, but Loki's been helping us out so far. They made it. They made it. Just in time for the Afro to be saved. Sounds like something Zoro would say. Zoro's gonna stop. Kill the dragon. See, I want to see that. This is the fight I've been really waiting for. Ronoa Zoro versus Ryuma. I'm gonna kick your butt. Nice and classic. Moria and Hogback's laughs are too OD. Uh oh. Zoro and, and Frankie pulled up at just the right time. Oh, it's a good thing we hit this earthquake. She's looking like Neo out here. It's Ors messing with the rudder. He's going to be king of the pirates, so. Like I said, I love how Ors was supposed to be our biggest threat, yet he's just been helping us out so much. What's up, general zombies? Y'all talking shit? Something that big can move that fast? That's literally what I'm wondering as well. Gum gum. Actually, I'm not made of rubber gatling. Just a punch barrage. I man, Luffy ores going crazy. And all the general zombies are down for the count now. Well, they've been handled like they are nothing. That's what I'm saying. You thought. That's what you get for meddling with powers beyond your understanding. Oh. Our fights are officially starting. Fun. Episode's about to end right here. Um, um, um. Um, um. Ooh. Ryuma thinks he's clean. Little do you know, our boy Zoro's the cleanest. He's got to focus on his duel. Come on. Boink. <laughs> But I was thinking, we need a new sword. Oh, Wazamono swords? One of 21? Facts. Hmm, <laughs> I am definitely invested. We're finally starting these fights. I'm excited. All right, this is the next episode, 358. You can use the shadows as extra weapons, hands, whatever. That's kind of strong. That's kind of strong. Oh, he has a shadow clone he can just command on at will too. He did say Kaido is the one who beat him, right? This literally looks like something straight out of Kingdom Hearts. Like a Heartless. 
So that's why he's just waiting for us to wear down a little bit. Eventually. Okay. We'll see about that. He can even disperse his shadow into molt. Like, wow. That's actually very creative and handy. And turns them into bats for a multi pronged attack. Pepper. Ah. Force you to open your mouth while sneezing. That's well played. Who we'll stopped the handyman? Hey, we got Perona on the run. It's so rare to hear him talk. Okay, Kuma, see, even though she's so mean to you, she's very harsh. Okay, now we're going to be on some Scooby-Doo shit, yep. What the hell? Damn, it looks like Usopp's, Usopp's chasing him. Jesus. That is not how I was expecting the Perona fight to go. Shout out Kumasi. Was he looking for fish? Some drink? Wants to cool his feet down? I feel him. Got to accidentally drown Cerberus. Imagine a King of the Pirates the size of him. That'd be literally insane. Oh, I thought he was immediately going into Devil Foot. Back, get your grubby hands off her. Nami Swan! Come on, caress and save that dainty head. Such grace and elegance. Your knight is here. Come on. What is my man doing his daily workout? His daily yoga? Pilates? Gum gum lotties? So one, two, shake hands. One, two, shake hands. Oh. Oh, he's actually going to be able to swim now that he doesn't have a devil fruit. That's kind of cool. I didn't even think about that. He's not bound to the powers of the devil right now, so he's not going to just immediately sink and drown. He is going to flood the entirety of the island, though. He have to take refuge. Well, he wasn't the best swimmer, but that was the first time Luffy has gone swimming in God knows how long. Oh, yeah, the salt water. Uh, he will imagine he just gets purified from going swimming. Head back over to either the Sanji fight or the Hogback fight. Or the Zoro fight. He is in a rather lovely dress. He actually thought she was a goddess. Her beauty can be deceptive. Okay, Sanji. We get it. She's gorgeous. Okay. Come on, my man. Let's beat up Absalom. He's like, unhand my wife. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
Absalom is one of the only people to see her butt naked and fondle her. He dodged that. It's Sanji. You just said the worst thing you could, Absalom. Hit him with the leg grapple throw. Like it was nothing. Come on, Furface. That was well played. The double deflection with his legs. Very smoothly handled. Anytime they bless me with that scene. Yeah, beat his ass, Sanji. Oh, he has the power of wild animals in him. Oh, one of those is going to hit him. That was kind of slick. No more invisibility for you. He said he doesn't have a bounty just because his picture looks nothing like him. Job Road put this man Absalom to, in the dust. Okay, okay. All right, this is the next episode, 359. Man is literally super Sanji right now. Does he have invisible bazookas? He does have like these hand cannons. He actually has invisible bazookas on his shit. That is very interesting. We did see that with Nami. The clear, clear fruit. Oh, I would love to see that encyclopedia. Understandable. He would eat it. There's only one devil fruit he would eat. Is it the clear, clear? Really? So he wanted the clear, clear fruit? He wanted to be a perv. How I could help others. Watch women bathe. I want to see this because uh, Blackbeard mentioned the encyclopedia devil fruit as well. I want to see that. And you're not. Yeah, the zombie, these zombie ad libs are going crazy. They are equally bad. Ooh. Elephant skin. Compact hair and gorilla muscle. Interesting. Yeah, your transplants and external experimentations are nothing compared to Sanji's fiery hot love. 
We'll see about that one. Man, Sanji's getting demolished by an invisible barrage of attacks. His main goal is just protecting Nami. I respect it. With a blade right through his back? Damn, that's legit through his back. He's trying his damnedest to protect her. Taking literal knives in his back. I hope she appreciates this when she wakes up. <laughs> That's a good reason as to why you had to drop her. Your pure white dress with my blood can't soil it. Oh, you can see that as a little evidence of where he's at. Going for Nami. Good leg. Good grab, I mean, on his leg. Takes the dagger out. I actually really enjoy Sanji's theme. He deserves a kick ass kicking barrage. Shout out Sanji. So meanwhile, Moria is literally kicking back, letting his shadow bats fight Luffy. How is he going to deal with this? You can't really defeat them because they just turn back into a shadow. We need a Keyblade, like some Kingdom Hearts shit. We need to find Mickey Mouse. It really is a strong ability, his shadow, shadow fruit. I love the creativity. I've already seen more fruits in this arc alone than I've seen like in a lot. And the creativeness behind it, we've seen... Hollow, hollow, clear, clear, revive, revive, shadow, shadow. Hit him with the gum gum stamp through the floor. You couldn't see that coming, so your shadow couldn't block it. That worked. Giant shallot. We all need a stuffed teddy bear like Kumasi in our lives. Yeah. Put some salt in his mouth, maybe? Oh, he has a mask on. How are we going to do this? Flame ball. Ever play Baldur's Gate? Level 5 spell, Wall of Fire. I mean, I was gonna talk shit. See if we can bait him into lighting himself on fire. She flying because of her ghosts? That would be very handy. Perk of her power. Or maybe because she's incorporeal herself, she can just fly? Big. Okay. Corona versus Usopp, round two. Interesting. Interesting. All right, this should be 360, last episode of the session. Finally, we get to see the ge boy Gecko Moria not just sit down like a lazy bum. He's actually doing something. Oh, he's heated. We kicked him once. Oh, stop your yapping. I do like the design of a shadow, though. Again, it reminds me of some Kingdom Heartsy shit, and I love a lot of the Heartless in there. Ooh, a gum gum finger net. I don't think I've seen that before. 
That's very creative. But how do we defeat a shadow? It's not like the zombies where we're going to hit it with salt and purify it. It's like a pure shadow. I love how we're so negative. She has to counteract it with positivity. I don't care if you can fly, dance, swim, whatever. Oh. Oh. I actually like the creative way they're showing us this. And I love how we included the dials from Skypea. All sorts of crazy effects. And she dipped. What in the hell? Can you just alter? You can fly? Can you alter your size? How in the hell is she doing this? Her laugh is interesting. Not nearly as bad as Moria or Hogback. She can literally shrink, yeah. Fade out and attack. And she can fly. She's a ghost herself. I do like the design for Kabuto a lot. She's gonna ghost him herself. <laughs> you stabbed me. I don't think it's quite like that. I am wondering what she's gonna do. I've been recently rewatching Harry Potter's, and the ghosts would go through people, you know? I wonder if she can turn them ghost form, put them in there, and then solidify them on some Mirio My Hero shit. That's kind of dark. Writhe in agony as you die. Holo, 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 holo. The heart beat the whole time we're hearing this. The tension is very high. Oh. Okay. That was a good. Oh. That's me yesterday. God damn. Yeah, so her hands are still ghostified in there, so it'll just go through your heart as well. I was wondering if she could solidify them in your body. That's a little dark, though. Man got so scared he fucking shat himself. That's very handy. The hollow, hollow fruit, huh? I doubt that's going to do anything now. Everything just physically passes through her. Uh-huh. So she is immune to physical attacks, damn near. So how do we... We need, like, a spiritual attack. We need, like, Nobara from JJK. Ghost rap. She can create mini detonations from her mini hollows. So she might not be able to touch you physically if she's in her phasing mode, but. But you better get that mobile off your shoulder. God damn. <laughs> I do love the looks of his new weapons, his new stars that he's shooting out of Kabuto and stuff like that, but he's literally getting countered right now. That was a low-key creative way to make him hit himself, kind of. Obstruct his vision. Oh, hell no. My man Usopp is going through it right now. Is this Kumasi? This is indeed Kumasi. Imagine making a beat out of him stepping. Yeah, her devil fruit seems very strong. Genuinely so. With the whole detonation she can make with 
going through things, flying, phasing, and sending out ghosts to turn people's hearts hollow. Very, especially against physical attackers, very strong. And we got Kumasi about to get his revenge. My man goes through some hits. Oh my god! Kumasi! What is Usab going to do to turn the tides of this fight? Yeah, man, Kumasi's just whooping some ass. Now he was the one saving others. Now he's the one asking to be saved. Oh! He thinks of Soga King. With the mask on. Immediately pulls the mask. Put the salt in there as they play his theme song. I love how his alter ego just gives him a new level of confidence and and strength, you know? <laughs> now Kumasi is out of here. Lu, lu, la, la, lu. Whenever Usopp's feeling down in the dumps and he can't do it, we bring out Soga King. I love how we repaired that side that Jabra broke too. I was not expecting Soga King to come out. <laughs> Soge, 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 soge. He's talking to himself, literally. <laughs> hey man, whatever works, you know? Bipolar disorder, hey. You need an alter ego? I love the voice change. Can you prove it? No. But hey, it works. Sometimes it literally takes a different mindset. Doesn't we don't want to fight. Start thinking things from a different perspective. He truly is a tank, though. He'd be tanking a lot of hits. What is it, Usopp? Inform me. Maybe, maybe this one's just a ghost and her real body can't do this? She's just making a ghost look like her? Hidden room, there you go. Your trick is over. Inform me on the details. Atlas Comet? Ooh. Ooh, with the flying... It's not a dung beetle, right? What are those called? Like a rhinoceros beetle? Something like that. Flying Atlas Star. So what's in this room? She in there just chilling? She in there like asleep? Or what is she doing? That is your real body. Yup. Well done, Soga King. Well done, Usa. Okay. Okay, we're finally starting to make some headway. Those were some great episodes. We're continuing our fight. I did not get to see the fight I most wanted to see, which is Zoro v Ryuma, but my theory was correct. Zoro did say, especially with what it, Wana, Wamazomo, something like that, with only being 21 of those swords out there in the world, and he has one. He's a legendary samurai from Wano, but we determined that that's gonna be Zoro's new sword. And I'm very interested, interested, intrigued by that. Um, we got that going on. We got Absalom with his invisible bazookas and his experimented body with the animal aspects in there. Sandy don't give a fuck about that. He's just trying to protect his girl. He's going to do that. I love that. Luffy, on the other hand, is in quite the predicament. He was able to land that clean hit on Moria. But other than that, Moria's ability is really strong, really broken. Um, so I wonder how that's gonna go down. We're making some headway on Perona v Usopp. I love, I love Soga King coming out to save the day, not only with the confidence boost, but also just thinking about things from a different perspective. Sometimes you gotta tell yourself that, you know? Like, buddy, calm down, you're good. You're a strong warrior, you're smart. This, that, and the third, I respect that. I love hearing the song, you know, Lu, 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 La, La. 
So, like I said, we're making great progress through Thriller Bark. Thoroughly enjoying the art. Love seeing these powers. Love Brooke's story. Everything with Laboon. I'm just so interested on where this is going to go, how this is going to end. And I'm hoping everyone gets their shadow back and we get a new member of the squad. I think, I don't actually know, because we're on 360 right now. It says, according to Crunchyroll, Crunchyroll could totally be off. But there's only 24 more episodes of here. So that's what, like six sessions? So we'll, just a couple more weeks and we'll be right through Thriller Bark. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you are, please leave a like on this video. Let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section. If you guys want early access up to 16 episodes and or the full length version, check out that Patreon links down below. Like I said, we're always on Twitch watching these. So come on over twitch.tv slash Dapper Darius. Um, follow the other social medias, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all at, all at Dapper Darius. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.